Hello, my name is Mark Cornaz, and tonight I'm going to be interviewing some comedians. Uh, my name's Sean. I've been doing comedy for 10 years. Through your 10 year career, is there any point where you're going to start actually writing funny jokes? <sighs> We've got Richo here, he's a stand up comedian. I guess you could say he's a seasoned comedian, would you say that about yourself, I bro? I would still say I'm a fucking open mic, right? <laughs> <laughs> At this point. Yeah, I'd be seasoned. I'd be seasoned. What will make like, white people seasoned, not black people seasoned. Yeah. Hi, I'm Julio. Hi Julio, what are your thoughts? I don't know if you've seen them, but they, they've discovered two aliens in Mexico that kind of look like cheesecakes. Have you seen oh, those, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I was one of them, we used to be three plates. What's your name and how long have you been doing comedy for? Cody Maverick, and I've been doing comedy for three and a half years. Favorite thing about comedy so far? Uh, the hang. I love the hang, and uh, I've learned to learn to bum. I've learned to learn to bum. I've learned to learn to bum. <laughs> Love to bomb. He loves bumming. Are you, are you performing tonight? I don't think so. Just uh, That's what I gotta stop doing. I was gonna ask what you're gonna, what material you're gonna do, but there's no point. <sighs> well, let's pretend I am up. Oh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I got a new bit at the moment about um, accidentally found out some stuff on my search history. This is it based on a true story? Kind of. And I thought she called me cheating, but like I'm not cheating, but I just get real nervous. But what she found was my um, search history that said, can you surgically remove gag reflex? Oh. Yeah. And? You can. <laughs> yeah, it's can, yeah. Okay, cool. This is uh, Julian. He's um, got a TikTok account and also Instagram, and he posts like funny, wacky videos that you can watch on online. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> uh, during your comedy career, when did you decide to stop Stealing jokes off the back of cereal boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Bit nervous. He's not. He's used, kind of used to not doing live stuff. He's usually just still used to like doing stuff that is pre-planned and not as sp spontaneous like this way. Hey, bro. Do your tax returns. And thank you. And, oh, this fucking. My name, name is Yuri Greenberger. I. Oh, should we do like a how I am regular? <laughs> you can do what <laughs> My name is Dovi Jester. And I have been doing comedy for, I think, two years. And throughout this, these two years, is there a point where you're going to actually start writing funny jokes? I don't plan on doing that because I feel like if I write funny jokes, there will be no motivation for me to get better as a comedian or as an artist. So I, I really am keen on just um, bombing and being a horrible, awkward mess and destroying rooms for other comedians for as long as I can. Is there like a secret factory where, you're, where you steal your jokes from? Um, yeah, it's uh, called my mum. She actually writes most of my uh, jokes. Uh, she also produced me, so uh, you gotta blame her for that. There's a bit of defect in the factory. A few engine lights going off um, that haven't been diagnosed, but hey, you know, it's neither here nor there. It's like that uh, It's like that car, you know, that you it, it's showing that it needs a service, but you're like, ah, it's still good. You know, I'll keep driving it. That, that's, that's, I, I think that answers the question. How do you cope with this walking down the street and is everyone yelling out, hey, you suck. You should give up comedy. Why don't you think of a different career path? Well, that um, um, it kind of makes me feel nostalgic for my childhood because that was basically the the running gag at home was like, hey, what's happening? You're not going to be anything. Wow, you're still alive. Ha <laughs> hey, you, ha. You've had your truffles today? Yes, I've got some truffles. How are they, how are they going down right? Yeah. Is that what they look like? Yeah. When do you think you'll start telling like actual funny jokes? Um... Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I'm not sure. You're gonna have to watch today, mate. I don't know. Sure. That looks like so much. I don't know. You gonna have some? You need some now? Yeah, have a little bit. Have you had some? Yeah. I want the littlest bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he just knows there's a camera up there. We gotta. We gotta. What do we do? Richo, thank you for coming on the Love program. You, bro. Love you too, bro. <laughs> We're gonna get arrested! And actually, this is fucking.